thank you, Edward, for what you give to us with the gift of your talent and passion and what you continue to put back in the society in which you live. On behalf of the studio and myself, we are so damn proud of you, what you have accomplished and what you continue to accomplish. You are an inspiration to every actor who studies at the studio. Thank you for your passion for the work and for exemplifying the craft of acting. snapshots from from the time I spent with Terry and Gloria Maddox and Carol and Vivian Madelon and uh, Sally and so many of the great people who have taught at the studio over the years. Um, I mean, uh, I, I owe a lot, my career owes a lot to Terry in a lot of ways. Probably the first thing that's notable is that um, uh, my, my career owes a lot to the fact that Terry was a, a believer in the barter system, which is, was a really good thing for me because I didn't I didn't have a lot of money, and um, I was trying to figure out how to you know pay for classes at the studio, and um, someone happened to tip me off or tip Terry off. He he, he had taken some gigs directing uh, Japanese productions of Tennessee Williams plays in Tokyo, and um, I. For weird reasons, had taken studied Japanese in college, and someone tipped Terry off to the idea that there was a kid lurking around wanting to take classes that that maybe could do some Japanese lessons with him. And um, he, uh, we, 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 uh, you know, we arranged a, a swap, like a barter uh, of of lessons for lessons. And um, I have these. Uh, this early memory. I'm not even sure I'd even taken a class with him. I'd taken classes with Gloria Maddox, who I knew um, from school days. And uh, and I remember sitting at a table and Terry, like, in his typical way, kind of diving into sort of some of the deep thematic <laughs> underpinnings of uh, Streetcar Named Desire and what he hoped he could communicate to a Japanese cast or something. And I kind of said, um, you're not ever going to talk about any of those things in Japanese. Like, we're going to, let's just try to get you to not uh, say hello in a way that permanently offends everybody. Uh, and, um, and, uh, 
And uh, <laughs> I think we pulled that off. I think we pulled that off. The, suffice to say, I got I got the much better end of that trade, and um, and and that's how my my time at the studio commenced was um, was was convincing Terry to kind of give me a few freebies. Um, but um, I think that. I think that, you know, like many actors, when I got to New York, I, I kicked around and stuck my nose in a lot of, a lot of places, a lot of teachers, a lot of uh, studio programs, a lot of, um, a lot of the well-known and the not so well-known, and um, uh, lots of places I, I applied or auditioned or whatever I. I, I didn't get accepted, um, but lots of places. Uh, what what became apparent to me fairly quickly was that you know in the early '90s I feel like if you came if you were looking to study acting in New York you were confronted with this um, a set of choices that um, were very. Uh, they were very much the long tail derivative of a lot of very old ideas about acting. They were um, not invalid ones, but but you know you had you had you had people who were still operating under the title of other people, the, you know Stella Adler, or Lee Strasberg, or Sandy Meisner, or um, a, lo a lot of famous names and a lot of uh, a, lo a lot of a, a certain received uh, respect. <laughs> But when I found myself going into a lot of these places, what I what I found was a lot of people who were um, who were kind of either trying to hang on to the afterglow of a, of, a, of another great teacher, or were very very dogmatically committed um, these ideas that were once dynamic and probably still valid on many levels had had sort of ossified into into dogma into um, into a, like a proprietary hold on an actor, like it was like once you came in, you you had to have faith and and total investment in the methodology, and and you're with us for the long haul, or it's not going to work out for you. There was always this kind of I felt this kind of implicit threat that you know uh, if you break with the system, um, the system will never work for you. And and I you know even as essentially a kid I, I really resented it I thought it was I thought it was um, as much about creating an, uh, a long a permanent dependence as it was about actually empowering or educating or or, or communicating about craft and what separated Terry and the studio he had built for me. Uh, almost instantaneously was that uh, he was he was a pluralist he, he he was versed in all of it and much much more um, conversing with all the best ideas conversing with the deep history and the traditions and the, the experiments and the various ideas about acting 